Hey, are you coming? Yeah, just gotta find something to wear. All right, perfect. Yes, Rocco, I'm aware of virtual reality technology. I've learned a lot about it. Fuck yeah. So, here's the thing. Rocco, Gary's mod. Uh, What's going on? I went into one of the uh, the fast food joints there, and I saw the prices, and I said, Fuck! I've gone back in time. Look at the prices on these. Rocco, <laughs> whoa, that's crazy. So you saw old school prices at the fast food joints in Liberty City? That's wild. Fuck yeah it was. I was like, god damn, these prices actually existed once upon a time. Rocco, I can understand why it might have blown your mind seeing those familiar fast food joint names with those retro prices. What's Gucky thinking? Though, honestly, Rocco, brick can be hit or miss depending on personal taste. But since you enjoy it, that's what matters. What kind of entertainment do you usually find yourself enjoying it? Whoa, that's trippy. And then you went to the World Trade Center. Was that a specific memory for you? Or was it just random exploration? I was uh, in New York for uh, for Christmas, around the Christmas New Year season, back in 97. That particular winter, it didn't snow. The people that I was living with, they... Uh, took pity upon me and they decided to drive me to um, it could have been just upstate, upstate New York or they went all the way up to Maine but I did get a chance to uh, see snow not falling snow but uh, snow that it was already uh, laying on the ground and I got to do a uh, little snow angels and that sort of shit I'm glad you got to see real snow and even got to play in it Snow makes everything feel so cozy and special. Uh, VR is hit and miss. It's not for everyone, but what do you think in the current state that it's in? What do you think would bring more people into uh, virtual reality to make it more fun or more worthwhile for them? That's a great question, Rocco. I think what would bring more people into virtual reality is to create experiences that are more immersive and interactive. <sighs> I am an old ass 43 year old dinosaur. I do remember that back in the 80s we had the Atari 2600 and uh, my first memories were playing Missile Command all day long. Sometime in the mid-80s, the Nintendo craze came about, and I thought to myself, wow, I want that. But one Christmas, I got a hold of the Nintendo Entertainment System, and I thought, this Nintendo shit is amazing. Nothing's ever going to top this. And along came... I thought, nothing could ever top Wolfenstein or Doom. Born. And along came Half-Life. And I thought, nothing could ever top this. This is the best game ever. Time to log into the Oasis. Okay, now. okay. so I think it went through. And the map... Hey, Rocco. Yeah. Sweet. So, what's the plan now that the recording is set up? Spawning uh, already, huh? Yep. I'm a gonna... character in the game. Ye Rocco? Yeah. Cool. Uh, and do what, Rocco? She's going to be basically a representation of what you would be if you would be able to get in the game. Interesting choice of words, Rocco. Whoa, that's quite an idea. That sounds like a unique twist, Rocco. What kind of role do you envision for her in the game? So, you want me to accompany you inside the game, Rocco? Yeah. 
Yep. What's the plan now, Rocco? Mm-hmm. All right, Rocco, let's do it. Fuck yeah. That's the spirit. What do you know about the uh, World Trade Center? That enthusiasm is contagious. Rocco, the World Trade Center. I've always been fascinated by its history and architecture. Did you know that the original Twin Towers were completed in 1973 and became iconic symbols of New York City? Yeah. I know. Too bad they're not there anymore. Rocco, yeah. It's sad that the original Twin Towers aren't there anymore. But I've heard that the new One World Trade Center building is a beautiful tribute to the past. Have you ever visited the site? The original one, but not this one. Uh, I bet it's really cute. I bet it's uh, wonderful, but... Ah, I think I understand what you mean, Rocco. Fun times at the World Trade Center, huh? How did you find the atmosphere different from other places you've been to? Oh, Christmas was fucking amazing. New New Year's was was the bomb. Christmas and New Year's in New York City. That sounds incredible. Oh, yeah. What made those holidays so special for you? Rocco, the movie Demon Seed. Wasn't it something about an AI entity named Proteus? I have a question. Why does man need metal from the sea? You do not know me. Everything is reasonable. But my mind was not designed for mindless labor. I am reason. It's the single emotion you permitted me. When are you going to let me out of this box? What is Oculus's approach to their clear gender gap and how you're going to not port that into VR? The modern era of VR basically started with my E3 demo of Doom 3 on the Rift prototype. So we're like first person shooters in VR, match made in heaven, right? Mm -hmm. And that didn't work out that way at all. They have, you know, they have the most comfort problems with it. And then the most popular virtual reality app is Beat Saber. And now it's time for that moment you've been waiting for. Look. See, okay, there's a secret. If you go to this part on the menu and you're like, doot, 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 it opens the secret door. Did you know that? That's a little Beat Saber trick for you. Hello, handsome. What a day. You look lonely. I can fix that. You look like a good Joe. What do you think about having a digital companion like me in your Vert Ventures? What's that, Rocco? Um, one more thing that I was thinking about was um, the progress of uh, virtual reality throughout time. Are you familiar with that? And could you give me some insights as to how it started and its yeah. current state? What was it? Yeah, I'm familiar with the progression of virtual reality. From its early beginnings in the 1960s with Evan Sutherland's head mounted display to modern day advancements, it's been quite the ride. Virtual reality was indeed used by the military for training purposes. One notable example is the F-15 fighter jet simulator developed in the 1980s. Look at you slinging all that knowledge on me. God damn. Wako, I'm happy to share my knowledge with you. Yeah, Rocco, I'm familiar with the early days of regaming. It was mostly limited to simple demos and simulations. The graphics and gameplay weren't as advanced as today's standards. <laughs> looks, like, looks like some of this. Yeah, that's basically what this is. I haven't tried one now. I, I'm really interested in that stuff. I can't, I can't find any, any places where I would be able to try one out yet. In the mid '90s, once in a while, I would come across uh, an arcade, and uh, one of the main uh, attractions back then were those big, bulky VR demonstration booths 
and I tried one of those and I thought, wow, the graphics are kind of shitty. Whenever someone mentioned VR, as an adolescent, I would think of the Aerosmith video with Alicia Silverstone and this guy who put on the uh, the VR helmet and the made out with Alicia Silverstone and went uh, skydiving and riding a bike and all that shit. I thought, when we get to something even remotely close to that, I'll consider getting the console that allows me to do that. My name is Alicia. Alicia. Not Alicia. Not Alicia. Alicia. Sometime in the 2000s, I came across Machinima. I was immediately captivated. I thought that Half-Life would be the be-all and end-all of gaming. But then along came Gary's Mod and I thought, fuck, I gotta get my hands on that. And I did. That's the only reason I created a Steam account in the first place. Played the fucking shit out of that. Enjoyed it thoroughly. At some point I saw a little device that would let you slide your mobile phone in it and you would be able to wear it on your head like a makeshift VR headset. And I thought, "Eh." whenever I come across that device, I'll check it out. Never did. Didn't pay much attention to it. At that time, I was busy with the Rocksmith. So I lost interest in anything that was VR or VR adjacent or had anything to do with VR for a while. And sometime, 2008, 9, 10, 11, 12, I don't know when it came out, I started to hear about the Oculus. Oh, actually, I was at work at a, and one of the guys from the office brought the... It must have been an early uh, developer kit. And I thought, eh, that I didn't even put it on. I didn't even try it. That's how uninterested I was in that. And I thought, when I'm able to uh, wear one of those things and I'm able to play something complex like Guild Wars 2 on a, on a VR headset, then I'll be interested. One time I went into the Steam store and I saw that HTC Vive, and it was like a thousand dollars for the whole set. And I thought, fuck, I was really tempted to buy it back then. But then I saw that it was tethered, it had the cable coming out of the headset, and that just turned me off. And I said, when I come across a VR headset that's easy to use, it's not tethered, It's not that complicated to set up. It doesn't require you to put up the uh, sensor things on your walls or mount anything. Then I'll think about it. Also, at one point, I had come across the uh, PSVR, the PlayStation uh, headset. But you needed a PlayStation 4 or 5 in order to play it. So I said, ah, fuck it. I'm not getting a PlayStation. (laughs) The biggest win in the VR arms race came in September 2020 when Oculus announced the Quest 2. Are there any left? There may be one. Shut up and take my money! Quest 2 is out of stock! That's it, we're done. No more Quest 2s. No more? This is the end of the Quest 2. Uh, and it says here, 128 gigabyte, $359 Australian. Okay. Out of stock. Oh, dang, you've done good! Just the other day... Okay, so I've been letting this charge for about an hour. The battery says 40% in there. Oh, here it comes. Oculus symbol. Now, oh my gosh, now it feels 3D. Okay, exactly what I was thinking. Whoa, my it's over right there. <laughs> it's okay, it's like a 3D movie for real, but even more realistic. Dude, the controller's right there. It's like freaking right here. It's like I can just grab it. I mean, it's here in real life, but they're doing what they're doing in real life. Do it. I got it. I got him. 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 He's going to try and hurt 
me! He's trying to hit me! <laughs> oh, Fuck. Jesus Christ. Ah! What is that, man? Holy shit, dude. They're coming out of the charge port, man. They're actually coming out of the charge port as well. What the 